This is a sew along as well as to show you some designer hacks that you can try out with your cam camisole pattern which is called my Beth pattern which is part of my pattern collection so let's get started. It's Friday, so it is definitely something about sewing. So today we are going to be doing the whole process of putting the Beth camisole together and how to put designer straps and braids onto the shoulder and also how to adjust the fit to fit you correctly because we, as you know, we all have different body shapes. All right, so once you put the camisole together, try it on and if it doesn't fit you it's too loose and you can always just take it in on the sides and then just position your strap so what i've done here is the pattern gives you one one sort of layer of strap so you've got the one strap on the right hand side and one on the left it's a bit of a hack so i'm now going to put an extra strap in so i'm going to have two straps on either side so i'm going to position them and then carry it right through towards the back so that's one option okay we can just keep the normal straps we can add some more straps and you can actually play with these straps you can put them in all different directions depending on what kind of design and look that you want so if you feel the back is too big you can always unpick it and make the back a bit narrow if both sides are too big then just take in on the sides to fit you remember this, we all have our different body proportions and we have different curve positions so you know change the pattern to fit your body the other thing you could do is instead of doing such a narrow strap if you want to make a wider strap because you want to conceal your bra you can always cut your strap double the width and you can have a broader strap like that if you prefer a broader strap to hide the bra there are some design elements you can bring into your garments so if you want to keep the broad strap you can even put a braid over it. This is a Diamante braid. You can put it in silver to match the um, blue. You can do a navy or whatever the color you want. So you can either put the strap on or you can even put a chain on. So you can either just do the raw chain and just stitch it on one of the loops in the front and then one of the loops in the back. Or alternatively, you can have your little strap and you can actually tack your chain belt, your chain strap, along your actual strap all the way right around. If you don't like the metal on your skin or if it's too cold, you can even do that. So you can even be creative by adding different embellishments on it. This is Tanya Sutherland and if you enjoy the type of content that I'm sharing with you, anything to do about sewing or sewing business, then this is the place to be. And how about giving me some love by giving me a like and share as well as press the subscribe button so that you are notified on my weekly YouTube videos that I upload for you. There's a broader strap if you wanted to add on a broader strap. Something like that, or that might be too wide. You can even add some embellishment around the neckline if you want it. You can even add it onto the hemline if you're going to wear your cami out. So this is some variations. Now the pattern is basically what you do is you make you do your front dots. Okay, and you've got your back, you join the side seams, so now you've made the cami. You take the lining, you do the exactly same. With the lining the dots and join it and you basically just going to close out the neckline the hack that i have done on the pattern is i've just created a facing so i just cut a facing instead of doing a whole garment in the fabric because i find i'm going to get a bit hot so i've just done a short facing so here is my facing that i'm going to be stitching into the garment once i've measured my straps so that is going to be my facing 
which I'm just going to join to the back facing and I'm going to bag it out and then just flip it over and I'm just going to give the bottom a hem but first try it on before you go ahead and complete it.
enjoyed the video of the sew along little camisole which is my Beth pattern and I will leave the link down below which you can have a look at all my other collection of patterns as well perhaps you like something that you would love to sew for yourself for your wardrobe on Tuesday I will upload another video which is how I'm styling the Beth camisoles and all the different ones that I have made in different colors and fabrics to show you how to style it and create different looks in your wardrobe.